Welcome to Hangar Talk, a video series of flying tips, comments, and anecdotes that promote airmanship, the artistry of flying with stick and rudder. If you want to become a great flyer, a good stick, there are only two fundamental skills to master. Do not stall and control yaw. Hanger Talk is committed to teaching those fundamentals and to flying for fun, flying with style, and flying safely. Slip is a very useful pilot skill. There are two different kinds of slips, side slips and forward slips. They are both cross-control maneuvers However, they are distinctly different and serve different purposes. The side slip is used to hold an airplane's position over the center line when making a crosswind landing. In this photo, the wind is blowing 30 degrees from the left at 17 miles an hour. Note the longitudinal axis of the airplane remains aligned with the runway. The airplane is slipping perpendicular to the runway, sideways through the air mass to hold a position against the crosswind. Control inputs are left aileron and right rudder. A key point when performing a side slip is to hold aileron steady and maintain bank. Use the rudder to control yaw and keep the airplane parallel to the center line. The forward slip has a different look from the side slip and it serves a different purpose. The forward slip is the tailwheel pilot's favorite skill. It's used to lose altitude, increase visibility of the runway, and it's a lot of fun to do. In this photo of a forward slip, once again the wind is blowing 30 degrees from the left at 17 miles an hour. The longitudinal axis of the airplane is at an angle to the runway. The airplane is in a crabbed attitude, nose into the wind. The power must be at idle. The flight path of the airplane is towards the runway. Control inputs are right aileron and left rudder. The crab orientation holds the airplane against the crosswind. The cross control inputs are to control altitude loss. The key to a forward slip is to control airspeed with elevator back pressure. During a forward slip, the airplane will want to increase airspeed. The transition from a forward slip to a side slip can be tricky. With the wind from the right, this pilot is forward slipping with the left wing low. However, the pilot must side slip upon landing with the right wing low. Such a transition confuses many pilots and could even be dangerous when done in one movement. When I forward slip to a landing with a crosswind, I simply uncross the controls from the established slip and resume a wings level crab attitude. Prior to round out, the airplane will be established in a normal crab, wings level, and ready to initiate a normal side slip and crosswind landing. If you enjoyed the show, please tell your friends. You can enjoy monthly postings of Hangar Talk on my website, dylanaviation.com. Please consider my books and DVDs for yourself, and especially as a gift for low time or student pilots. These items are available on my website or directly from amazon.com. Thank you for watching. Until next time, this is Jim also reminding you, fly high, have fun, and keep the blue on top.